Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Ari the Kid. And Ray. Coming at y'all with another Crumble Cookie Review. Yeah, and l- let me... First, l- wait a minute. Because there was supposed to be, I guess, four totally different flavors. And then, I guess, the app glitched or something. And then we ended up with these flavors. Which I'm, I'm not super excited about it. But, you know what I'm saying? We gotta do what we gotta do. So, to start off with, we got the Andes Mint chocolate i believe uh nutella sea salt and gin- gingerbread, gingerbread cake, cake. i'm looking s'mores. forward to gingerbread cake i'm just looking forward that. to s'mores that marshmallow is looking a little melty over there mm. all right um so which one should we do first <sighs> let's let's get the sea salt out the way sea salt nutella <sighs> we could have got it out the way by just skipping it Ooh, that didn't sound very pleasant. Nah, that was a good crunch. That was the edge. Uh, that was the edge. So if y'all recall from the whole sea salt caramel incident, uh, I'm not too big of sea salt on cookies. All right. <laughs> but we'll see. There you go. And we go with the melty chocolate. Uh, you tell us hazelnut technically. It's <laughs> like a cocoa spread though, right? You tell me what you think first before I bite it. I'm gonna be honest. They like it. <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> it's thick just like ice cream Nutella. Oh, man. The flavor's not bad. Again, the sea salt throws it off though. I forgot my milk this week, y'all. This is thick. Put me a tough one. You can finish or whatever <laughs> you want to do. I got you. Pretty you good. can finish. can't say it's unique, I guess. <laughs> um, man. Not my most favorite cookie. Um, but that's because the Nutella thing for me is weird. It's not a bad cookie, though. I got to, you know, I got to be upfront about that. I go with a five. It at least met me halfway. <laughs> I give it a seven. You know, it's it's good. I could eat a whole cookie, but again, the sea salt takes it from any other Nutella. It's thick. It is thick. Like if you ain't got no milk, don't do it. Oof. I know, cause then you got like the goo, and then you got salt. It's like yeah, the salt dries out your mouth too. It's a bit of an overload. And the cookie itself is literally thick. It almost seems, it's like, it's as thick as a peanut butter cookie. And we just, we just knocking them down tonight. Everything we think we might not like, let's just get it out the way now. I'm going to be honest, I'm not a fan of the decoration. Like, it looked weird. It looked like they were going for clouds or something. Mm. All right. Colgate chocolate, folks. (laughs) Andy's mint. Oh, I forgot. This is chilled. This is, this is chilled. So it's yeah, like, this is chilled. I don't know about chilled oh, it's chocolate. Got, like actual chocolate chips in the middle. I don't know about no cold chocolate. We'll see. Mm. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I'm so sad that you said Colgate chocolate because this is really what it tastes like. Like this is toothpaste, y'all. Now I'm a fan of mint chocolate, but this is toothpaste. The way it's piled on there, I'm gonna be honest with you. I think if it was a warm with the mint in the middle, like they do, you know, like the Nutella one, they would have had something going on, but. To have so much mint and then chocolate, is, I mean, it's like, it's almost like brushing your teeth and eating a cookie. I'm going to finish this, but. <laughs> he like it. <laughs> he like it. I, I, it's the thickness of the cream for me. I'm not. I'm good. I am good. As the young folks say, Gucci. Um, 
<laughs> um, let's go with this gingerbread cake, mm -hmm. man. Let's go with the gingerbread cake. Oh man. So what'd you rate the mint? Zero. You could give it, a, give it a one. All right, a realistic number. Four. Four. And I'm gonna say that because I didn't do it here in this video, but I could probably scrape this mint off, and the chocolate cookie is probably a good cookie. Probably. So. <coughs> I give it a five. We'll do that another time. All right, let's, let's get in here. That's the one you was excited about, right? Mm-hmm. Warm, gooey. Okay, falling Dang. apart. Falling uh, apart. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't know if it's supposed to be this gooey. I'm going straight in. Oh. That cream cheese frosting is not good. If that's what it is. I don't know. This is pretty spot on. Sorry, I had to see that. But you know what? Yeah, no, I think cream the gingerbread. Cheese. I think the gingerbread is a little thick, but. I'm not a fan of that frosting. Really? Really? Yeah, that's... I feel like it was good. Nutmeg. That might be it. But you know they say molasses got a strong hit You know to what it, it tastes like? It reminds me of that pumpkin pie cookie. That's why. I like the... I'm thinking of like... No. This one is a little more musky. <laughs> Yeah, we want the other one with more messy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I'd give that a five, too. Without five. the frosting, I would have given that like a seven or eight. I'm going to be honest with you. I think I'm getting a little bit older, and I'm liking the little spices now. I'm going to get out in like seven and a half. He does like barbecue sauce. Remember that. <laughs> All right, let's knock this s'mores out the way. Um, I don't know, be gentle with the s'mores, I don't know. I saved it for last, because I think it might be the best one. See, it looked to me like a, like a chocolate chip cookie with marshmallow in it. That's literally what it just looked like. And some graham crackers sprinkled on top. Oh, <laughs> uh, you know what, I didn't see that graham cracker. I wasn't paying attention to that, that's pretty cheesy. <laughs> Only at that point, they could have literally just made a s'mores with honey grams and called it good. All right, there you go. That's exactly what I said. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you never had a crumble chocolate chip with <laughs> chocolate chip cookie before, you wouldn't know why we was laughing. This is exactly what I thought. <laughs> got the little, the little biscuits and gravy cookie. <laughs> Man. You know, I like crumble and all. <laughs> but they got to retire the chocolate chip. They, the chocolate chip is. <laughs> Man. Like that was the most boring bite I have ever taken. In my life. <laughs> he said boring bite. <laughs> Let me bite it again, man. Like that was boring. <laughs> All right, come on, let's <laughs> give it one ball there. The marshmallow was barely even there. <laughs> There's no marshmallow there. I don't even think it's real marshmallow. What could be other? What can you? What what could be in place of marshmallow? Though? They're probably like whipped cream with a little bit of jet puff. Just for the texture. Just for the texture. Don't tell me you did that. Please don't let me find out you did that. Wow. That bite was worse than the first one. I'm they gonna really, it, but they really. If anybody from Crumble Cookie is watching this, 
you really need to take another look at the milk chocolate chip cookie. It is hurting y'all. <laughs> and I mean that in the most humblest way possible. It is, man, I mean, sometimes you just want a good chocolate chip, chocolate chunk cookie, chocolate chunk cookie, sorry. Man, that's just not it. So, I gotta say, I stuck my foot in my mouth last week by saying that they would have a lot better flavors and they'd be more festive. They got festive all right. It was festive. It was festive. Um, it was. I really think good. they should have kept the peppermint coming though, because I mean, that peppermint bark should have stayed. Who was eating spearmint for Christmas? Um. <laughs> so, yeah. Um. Oh man, interesting week. Um, I'm like looking at the gingerbread, and I can see the cream cheese frosting running, and it's just like. Run, run as fast as you can. <laughs> I like that one. It's weird. I, I liked it. I liked it. And they even had the little tiny uh, gingerbread man. Yeah, confetti gingerbread man on there. That was that was nice. Nah, the winner for me was the Nutella, and that's saying a lot because that was. I'll say this. Overall, I'm no. gonna give you a good rating because because of how festive the cookie was. That's true. Festive, but other than that. The flavor um, was not there. I just feel like I just feel like this was like a, a, a bench warmer week, where like they let all the bench warmers play. This week. Yeah, like we just let all the bench warmers play this week, and you know, it happens. Yeah, I'm gonna need y'all to pitch in a dollar a piece to all like ten of my subscribers. To help me pay for this box of cookies because it was not worth it. It was definitely not I worth it. I am extremely sorry to inform you all about that too. But yeah, it's gonna be better, man. I'm telling you. Not every week can be a winner. We're getting close to Christmas. It's gonna be a new year. You know what I'm saying? Um, we know they gotta come with a cranberry one, so you got to. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. but this flavor selection was 2020 in a nutshell. <laughs> nah, I ain't had the pumpkin pie in here. That would have really been. The pumpkin pie was not as bad as Bruh. any of these here. Bro, the pumpkin pie was it a was, solid one. It was not as bad as any of these here. <laughs> anyway. I mean, Nutella and Seesaw. Hold on, hold on. Nutella and Seesaw. I don't get it. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I don't get it. I don't know why they did that. I, man. So yeah, um, like, like I said, subscribe. like and subscribe. Uh, I'm gonna Let get us out know. of here before I be any less civilized than I'm being <laughs> right now. Yeah, let us know anything else you guys want us to rate. I mean. It is the holiday season, so if you got something that you like, yeah, hit us up. Like, if you send us recipes, I'll happily make something for us to review. See if we like your recipes. Yeah, you know what? That's a good idea. That's a great idea. So yeah, hit us up. Peace. That's worse.